Welcome back, everybody, to Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, uh, we're going to continue our adventure here uh, with Arthur. Uh, we're still up at the mountain lake. We're going to stop by and check that cabin out over there, uh, but we are going to do the very best that we can to get back to Valentine and turn our legendary bear pelt in before we do something stupid and, like, lose it or have it fall in the mud or something like that. <laughs> uh, so we're picking up right where we left off. Hope you guys are enjoying this series. I am just enjoying the heck out of it. It uh, This game is just amazing. It really is. I can't say enough good things about it. <clears throat> it is there, there. It is a little buggy, though. I will say that. Um, for example, when Arthur's riding along, he'll just for no reason, see, like pull his bow out and then put it back away or pull the gun out. It's just kind of weird. But, I mean, it's certainly not game-breaking, but it is a little bit odd. So let's go ahead and just go over to this cabin really quick. See, he just pulled his bow out. I mean, like, what the heck is he doing? It's almost like he's put... Actually, you know, the more I think about it... Wait, what? What was that thing that just popped up? I missed it. I don't know what that thing was that just popped up. Anyway, you know what he's doing, actually? He's putting it back in the saddle. That's what he's doing. So that's not a bug at all. He, I guess he's just putting it back in the saddle. Okay, never mind. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Let's go check this cabin out. We rode by this with Hosea, but it was a cutscene, so we couldn't do anything. Look how beautiful this lake is. Oh, man, this is just the coolest thing ever, you guys. Um, in the, you know, one of you guys told me in the YouTube comments that... Oh, I thought those were fish. You know, that there's treasures and stuff we can find around the world, so... That makes me want to just really start exploring. Oh, there's a guy over there fishing. Maybe we need to go talk to him, too. Yep. Easy. Easy, boy. Wonder where that guy's getting off to. Okay, let's just check this place out. I don't know if this is someone's actual cabin or if it's an abandoned place. If it's somebody's actual cabin, we're not going to... We're not going to mess with it. Uh, I don't think, anyway. Maybe it's that guy's cabin over there that's fishing. It looks like it's lived in. It surely does. Okay. You know, Arthur is, uh, you know, he's, he's a bandit, right? He's a bad guy. So, <laughs> we're just going to take a look. We're going to take a look. Find Brandy. Oh, there's like a gold watch and stuff in there, too. Um, all right, here's the thing. We're not going to be 100% bad. We're just going to be sort of kind of bad, right? So we got a money clip. We've got brandy, and we've got a gold watch, a gold pocket watch. I'm going to let you guys have this on your conscience. So all of you guys in the stream, you tell me, of these three things, which one do you want me to rip off? The money, the gold watch, or the brandy. We're not going to take all the guy's stuff because, you know, I mean, that would be mean. <laughs> you want me to take it all, huh? No, we're not going to take it all. Which which one? If, you, if you're going to leave it up to me, I'm probably going to take the money. Of course, I don't know how much money there is there, but <laughs> take it all. You're terrible, Varg. Pick each thing up and and look at them. Well, I think if I take it, I can't I, I can't put it back once I take it. I don't think I can. You want me to take it all too, sniper? Oh man, you guys. All right, you know this is on your conscience. I'm just gonna say that. I'm just gonna throw that out there. It's your fault, not mine. You picked up a valuable. You can use valuables in crafting. Yeah. Okay, we already know that. We just picked up eleven dollar. Make you holla and some brandy. I kind of feel bad about this, I'm not going to lie, but you guys said take it all, so, you know, it's on you, not me. We're terrible people. We are terrible people. Should we see what else he's got over here? <laughs> um, here, let's search the sink, because you never know what you're going to find in a sink, right? Watch this guy come back and shoot us in the head. Okay, we got some gin. 
Should we take the gin or should we leave it for a minute? I mean, we we don't want to take all of the guy's alcohol. That was, That's a terrible thing. He's going to come back. He's going to be depressed because we ripped him off and he's going to need something to drink. Leave leave the brandy so he can drink it. Well, yeah, I think we're going to have to leave the gin because, like I said, I don't think I can put it back. Uh, well, maybe we can. I don't know. Let's take a look. So the only thing we can do is close the chest. What we could maybe do is go into here and and discard it. Now, you know what? We'll leave him the gin. Okay, we'll take the brandy. We'll leave him the gin. We better search this cabinet, too, because, I mean, we got to be thorough, right? Okay, potent bitters. Yeah, we might need to take that. <laughs> Chewing tobacco. Yeah, we better take that, too. I know, we're terrible people. We are absolutely bad people. Search the drawer. Oh, it says I can't carry any more of that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, Close the... Okay, so there's nothing in there. Here I thought this was going to be like an, an abandoned cabin, maybe with a treasure in it. I didn't know it was going to be like somebody's actual cabin. Can we steal this fishing pole? I really want to go fishing. I mean, I seriously want to go fishing bad in this game. One of you guys were telling me last week that we'll, we'll get a pole after we do a quest of some sort. Let's take a look in here. That poor sucker out there fishing, he's going to come back and he's going to be like, what in the hell? Yeah, we need gun oil. I think we do. You have picked up gun oil, which can be used to improve the condition of your weapons. That's that same sound I keep hearing. You know what I think that is? I think that's a, um, uh, I think that's maybe the train off in the distance. It's kind of hard to tell for sure. All right, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. We've done our bad deed for the day. That guy's still over there fishing? Here, I want to, I want to do something here. He kind of looks like a gunfighter. He'd probably shoot us if he came back right now. Uh, Is that... Are those goats? Oh, no, those are elk. There's a bull elk right there. <laughs> Kazoom tight. There's a bull elk right there. Well, we have no room to be shooting the bull elk, so we won't be doing that. All right, yeah, we got to go. Our horse is saying, you are a bad man. You're a bad man. Boy. We better, let's just go. All right, so the trail wants us to go back this way. I wanted to go check out that pond, though. Here, let's look at our map for a second. This moonstone pond. I guess we'll... I guess we'll be going by it. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, we can just follow the trail. Yeah, here I thought Arthur, you know, kept getting his bow out, but what he's actually doing it, it doing is he's putting it in the saddle. Oh, that is so cool, man. I totally didn't realize that until just now. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's slow down just a little bit, and this would be a really good place to go into cinematic mode because there's so much cinematic stuff to look at around here. Morning. Morning. Hey, where's Arthur's hat? What happened to his hat? Okay, hold on, hold on. Easy. Whoa. Um... So that will, that puts our bandit mask on. Okay, hold on a second. Where is our hat at? I don't know what happened to my hat, you guys. What in the world? I guess that means we gotta we, we won't be able to get it back till we get back to our camp, uh, to the big camp. Here, let's look at something here. Okay, so let's look at horse cargo, but that's just going to show the bear pelt anyway.
There's supposed to be a way we can get to our outfit, uh, our outfits on the horse. How do we do that? Do we do this? Show info, remove saddle, brush, feed, lead, flee. Nope. And it's not in horse cargo. So do we have to be like in camp mode to get to our, our clothing? That wouldn't, doesn't seem to make sense. What if we're like in the middle of the day and then a blizzard comes in and we need to change to warm clothing? I'm missing something here, man. And, and I don't know why I don't got my hat on anyway. We didn't leave it back at the campsite, did we? Let's go, boy. Let's see. We... Where did, where did we camp? It was back over this way, wasn't it? That was the island that we swam out to. Uh... I think it was back over here, wasn't it? Yeah. Take the fishing pole from the fisherman. Can I do that? Like, go kill him and then steal it kind of thing? Is that what you mean? You lost it on, on the death trip. Like, when I was swimming, you mean? This is where we camped, but I don't see it lying on the ground anywhere. Alright, well, I guess we're gonna have to be without our hat for a while. That's very unfortunate, but it is what it is. I don't know how to get it back. I, I know we can get it back if we go back to the main camp, because we have all our clothing there. But there's supposed to be a way that we can pull clothing off of our saddle, but I don't know how to do it. What are you doing? Easy. Did I die in this in this stream? I don't remember. We died. <laughs> we died in seven days to die. It was terrible, man. The, the Blood Moon Horde got us. First time that's happened to me in a long time. I couldn't believe it. Um, that's dynamite. That's the lasso. That's just our light. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. I don't know how we're supposed to get to our clothes. You would think it would be maybe in this slot, but... That's crafting tools. Yeah, well, whatever. We'll figure it out. Yeah. Okay, let's ride in cinematic mode. Yeah, that's a, that's a, a train whistle, like, way off in the distance. Oh, really? It's been that... When I... Okay. When I fell down the, the cliff going after the Reverend. Oh, okay. I didn't... I guess... I just didn't notice I haven't had my hat for so long. Where are we going? Okay, we want to... Hold on. We want to go check out Moonstone Pond first real quick before we head back. So we got to go this way. Yeah, I I remember falling, you know, falling down that in bank, uh, that bank, but I just didn't realize that we'd lost our hat when that happened. Look at there the deer swimming in Moonstone Pond. What is that? A goose or something way over there? Uh, no, I think that's a turkey. This is so neat. We gotta come back here, you guys, and fish and go fishing in this pond once we get the the pole. Look at all the fish just jumping in there. Just looking around to see if there's any new herbs or anything. Uh, 
Oh, man, that is just so cool looking. Moonstone Pond. I love it. Beautiful. Okay, let's get let's get going. We've got places to go, people to see. Okay, Legendary boy. hides to turn in. That sort of thing. What is this thing up here? Let's just go take a quick look. I know. Squirrel. Oh, so this is actually a a ruined uh, a ruined place. I don't think anybody's living here. If they are, they need to fix their roof. We'll put it that way. Okay there. Man, it, you know what would be so cool if if there was some kind of a mod added to the game where you could come and actually fix this place up and make this your house. Oh, wouldn't that be awesome, you guys? All right, let's just look around a little bit. We'll get this out. Uh, we'll not get it out, but just get it ready in case uh, we need it. So we got a little pile of logs. This was probably the outhouse over here. Let's go into first person just a little bit. Okay, nothing in there. I don't know, first person just, it kind of wigs me out. I kind of like this view the best. We could eat some wild carrot, why not? Okay. Anything in this little cart here? Nope. Guess we're not getting in there, huh? There's a little boat here. Here's an here's an axe. It looks to me like somebody was splitting this wood fairly recently. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so the sun's in your eyes. Yeah, that would be cool. Very realistic. Is that like a big pine cone? Yeah, I think it is. That's an enormous pine cone. Okay, let's just kind of walk around the back here. looking around for anything that Eagle Eye might pick up. There's some tracks. There's some smoke way off in the distance there. Um, here, let's see which direction we're facing. So we're looking at something probably off in this direction here, or maybe where this uh, stables is. Is that... Is that is there another bear down there? Huh, I don't know. We don't have room for him if there is. See, there's stuff in here, but... If we jump down in there, are we going to be able to get back out? <laughs> um, that could be a problem, huh? Only one way to find out. Ooh, look at that. Pick up.
wait, bat as in, oh, bat. We just picked up a bat. <laughs> I thought it meant like baseball bat. Okay. A uh, little brown bat is found across most of America. They are insectivores feeding on mosquitoes, wasps, beetles, and midges. Due to the size of the species of bat, they can be killed with less impact. A bow with a small game arrow can be uh, used successfully for hunting. Its meat is stringy but edible. Ooh. And its wings can be used to craft with. How about that? Okay. Yeah, when I, when it said bat, I thought it meant like, you know, baseball bat. All right, what else do we got in here? Kentucky bourbon. I think we found some stuff, you guys. Large jewelry bag. Yes, please. Oh, how much is that thing worth? A large bag of valuable jewelry can be sold for cash. How much cash? It doesn't tell us how much, how much we can get for it. Oh man, there's some treasure. If that ain't treasure, nothing is, you guys. Is there anything else over here? Looks like there's a gold something something down there. Okay, that's how we get out. There's a ladder there. Loot. Lockbox. Homing tomahawk pamphlet. Inspect document. Owls are silent, deadly hunters who locate their prey in darkness. Their feathers have long been seen as a symbol of power by Indian tribes. The Greeks considered the owl a symbol of protecting armies going to war. Frontiersman's requirements. Tomahawk, owl feather, how to prepare. Firmly hold the tomahawk, secure a feather around the shaft, stow it for use. Camping tip. When building a shelter in hot climates, cover the walls with a mix of blood and cow dung to create a clean, permanent plaster. Okay. Well... Remember that, maybe? Homing tomahawk. So, yeah, okay. We'll have to keep that in mind. You have learned the homing tomahawk recipe. I love it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and now COVID starts from picking up the bat. Exactly. Okay, let's close the drawer here. So I'm thinking the jewelry bag was the grand prize in here, but let's see. Is there anything else we can loot? Oh. Uh, it gave us the option to pick up another bat, because why not, right? A little bar brown bat. Good bat carcass. Can we... Can we get over here? What? He can't quite... Man, it looks like we should be able to. There's stuff over there. Alright, maybe what we have to do... It won't let me go through here. There was another bat down here. Whoops. Oh, little, yeah, there he is right there. Okay, what I think we have to do, if assuming we can go over there, is get back up on the log, but then jump off on the other side. I reckon we'll get back to Valentine to turn in our legendary bear carcass in about three months from now. Hmm. Are we going to be able to get over there? I don't think we can go that way, you guys. Oh, 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 oh. Can we get through? Nah, I don't think we can. All right, well, shoot. 
Because, I mean, there's bottles of stuff over there. But I don't see how, how we can get over there. Okay, well, we're wasting time. Let's get let's get going here. We we did look at that. You guys want me to check the journal? Okay, let's get down here. Ow. No, nah, we don't have any new pages yet. Let's look one last time. <clears throat> Excuse me. So there's this kind of like little doorway thing here, but it doesn't really... It's really almost more like a little outhouse or something. Can we get in through here? won't quite go down in there. I have a feeling like if we did get down in there, we might not get back out. Okay. So, yeah, I guess I guess we're not meant to uh, ow! Do that. Okay, let's get going. Enough screwing around, man. We got ourselves a large jewelry bag. That's got to be worth some bucks. Okay, is there a trail we can follow around here? It looks like it. Oh, the road's just up there. Okay. Here we go. Little cinematic camera action. Bonding increased. You've unlocked rearing with the horse. Whoa! Oh, man. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Holy Moses! We better check, better check this guy. Oh, man, that was brutal. Dude, are you... Oh, he doesn't look good, you guys. He does not look good. Uh, I don't think, <laughs> oh, man, that horse, holy crap, uh, all right, dude, are you alive? I don't think he's alive, you guys. Oh, man. Well, if he's dead, you know, then he's not going to need his stuff. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, man, that is just bad. Horse reviver. Uh, three revolver cartridges, some salted beef, and a bad, a bad guy point. Oh, we're a terrible person. How can we didn't get bad guy points for ripping off that cabin? Um. <laughs> oh man. Oh hey, we can take his hat. Um, how do we? How do wait? How do we take the hat? Uh, pickup. He doesn't need it anymore, you guys. There, we got a hat. This hat cannot be stored and will be left uh, lost if left on the ground. At least we got a hat back. Oh my goodness, that was bad. <laughs> that was so bad. <laughs> Poor guy. You know, the game shouldn't... The game should give me bad guy points for ripping off the guy who's alive, living in a cabin up in the mountains, and it's probably hard for him to get supplies. It should not give me bad guy points... For looting a guy that's dead because he can't use his crap anymore and it's not my fault he died in the first place. Priorities here, people. Priorities. 
Okay, what kind of pistol does he got? It doesn't give me the option to to see it, but it looks like it's probably just a cattleman pistol anyway. <laughs> oh, man. I'm going to have to go back and watch that later. Um, that was just like, oh my god, I can't believe that just happened. Is this new stuff here? Yeah, it is. What do we got? Hey, Rareth, how you doing, buddy? Good to see you. Um, hummingbird Sage. All right, let's check this out. Hummingbird Sage can be identified by their square stems and their deep purple flowers. A common place to spot these herbs is in dry, shaded areas under dense foliage and trees in Lemoyne, the west side of West Elizabeth, as well as along the banks of the Kama, Kama, Asa? Kamasa, Kamasa River, in New Hanover. When grafted into bitters or consumed, this herb will recharge your stamina core. Nice. Okay, can be consumed to refill your stamina core. You know what? Let's grab a couple of these. I'm thinking we need to. Um, how is our stamina core? Let's just eat one right now. Awesome. And then uh, we'll just pick this one and keep it with us for later. Okay, any more around? How did it get to be nightfall again, you guys? We didn't screw around that much today, did we? I think we did. Look at that bull elk down there. Man, if only we didn't have a legendary bear hide on the back of our horse. Where did that other horse get off to? He really wasted that dude, didn't he? Oh, man. This is so beautiful. I know, I keep saying that. I sound like a broken record, but it really is. Okay, well, let's keep on riding here. Poor feller. Yeah, but that's, you know, that's kind of bullcrap. Don't you guys agree? I shouldn't get bad guy points for looting a dead guy. Unless I killed him and then looted him. That's a whole different story, but that was not the case here. I should have gotten bad guy points for ripping off that poor sucker in the, <laughs> in the cabin there. That's where I should have gotten bad guy points, but... All right, should we camp up here for the night, or should we just keep going? I think we should probably just keep going. Okay, boy. Um, I probably could if it was still around. Here, let's uh, let's actually try something here really quick before we leave. We're just going to move him over. We're going to set him down gently. <laughs> okay. Is that pistol still sitting there? I think... I, I Actually, I think it despawned, but... It looked like it was just a cattleman revolver, and that's what we already have anyway, so it would not have been an upgrade, most likely. Okay. The important thing in all of this, you guys, is that we got a hat back. That's the most important thing. <laughs> I just can't believe that. Oh, man. I wonder if we would have stopped and talked to that guy right away if we could have saved his life. I mean, I had no way of knowing, of course, but holy crap, man. That was bad. Okay. Let's get going here. We still got a long way to go and a short time to get there. Actually, no, we got all the time in the world. Rayeth, how you doing, bud? It's good to see you. Long time no see, buddy. Is that a... Is that a big bat up there? No, I don't think so. I think it's an eagle. The wings just kind of look that way. What was that? Oh, is that a fox? I think that's a fox. Uh, it's either a fox or a coyote. We don't have room for him, though, so we're not going to kill him. That sounds like a, a fox bark.
Heading on back to Valentine. Let's take a look at our map real quick, see where we're at exactly. Oh, yeah, we do have a long ways to go. <laughs> um, at, I, I think if we stopped and camped, we could probably fast travel back there, maybe. Uh, but let's not do that. Let's just enjoy the ride, right? See what other, other kind of mischief we can get into. Oh, shit. Go, 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 go. Wolves. Calm down, boy. Are they still chasing us? Alright. Well, I don't think, uh... There's not really much point in killing him because I can't do anything with him. I don't have any room. So let's keep on trucking here. Yeah. Are we close to our, our camp or not? No, our camp's like way down here. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to enjoy the ride. What? What are you talking about? All right, we better go see what this is about. Oh, there's like a town or a settlement or something right in front of us. Fort Wallace. Um, Wasn't one of those outlaw guys there? Man, we have got... <laughs> We've got to get our pelt turned in, you guys. Let's just go and see what this guy's up to. Is he just a nutty preacher, or is he more than what he seems? We're just gonna help me, and I shall help thee. Oh, is he like a beggar? Okay, let's put our gun away. I don't think he's gonna hurt us. Help a blind man. Don't run over him, horse. A dollar for your future. A dollar for your fate. He does what? Learn about tomorrow. What was that? Um, he does kind of look blind. Be not afraid. I see only true things. Yeah, he's definitely blind. Oh, 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 okay, here. Come close. We'll come back for this guy later. We gotta go save this lady. Not that we have room for her to take her back on our horse, though. Save the lady. She's more important than the horse. Cut me free. Holy crap. I hate hated to do that, you guys, but the lady's more important than the horse, unless... Please help me out well, at least here. we have to assume that at this point. Holy crap. Okay. Here, let's help her out. Let's get our light back out. I can't see what I'm doing. Are you really going to leave me tied up like this? No, 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 no. Here, we'll cut you free. You showed up when you did. Oh, the things he said he did. Who to me? It's all right, ma'am. It's over now. Thank you. Again. What? 
Again? Wait, did I help you before? <laughs> did, I don't remember helping her before. Do, are you sure you don't want like an escort back to town, lady? All right, well, here, let's loot this guy anyway. See, so Arthur did some bad things today and he did some good things today. So it all kind of evens out in the wash, right? At least that's what we want to tell ourselves. Got some money, some revolver cartridges, a silver clamp buckle. Nice. All right. Um, let's not leave him, like, just right out on the road here. I hope, um, I hope we did the right thing. I mean, how can you really know, right? He did, he did say some pretty mean things to her, so I think he deserved his fate. He's got a hole right in his head. I, uh, it was a bummer we had to kill the horse, but I didn't know what else I was supposed to do. Uh, maybe we could have chased it down and slowed it down or something, but... Eh, I'm sorry, Hoss. Let's search the saddlebag. Potent Miracle Tonic Guarma Rum. And that's what we got. Okay. Ah, that's a bummer. Maybe I should have tried to chase him down. I don't know. But I, I just reacted, you know what I mean? We had to save her life, so. Yeah, I probably could have tried to do that, huh? I forgot about that. Talk on it. You're right. I should have tried to lasso the horse. I'll try and remember that the next time I'm running after a horse that has a woman tied onto it running like crazy. <laughs> yeah, I should have probably done that now that you mention it. All right. Well, hindsight, right? We could have, yeah, we could have definitely done that, but, oh well. Let's practice our lasso here. There we go. See? Okay. Yeah. We'll just put it away. All right, back to town, man. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right about that, Sniper. I probably ain't the prettiest smelling thing. Wait. Wait, what? Witness murder? Wait a minute, what? That wasn't murder? A witness that hasn't seen the criminal is marked with a dark red eye. They'll report this evidence. Law will come to investigate further. Wait, what? That wasn't a murder. I, well, I mean, not really. Oh, okay, hold on. Yeah. This isn't good. The witness was back this way. They were right down here. Now they've disappeared. Oh, okay, time to leave. No, 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 no. We don't want to be around here. Let's get the hell out of Dodge. How did... Okay, wait a minute. What the hell, man? There was a guy... The, the, the red eyeball was right here, out in the middle of nowhere. How could they have reported the crime? Unless a sheriff and his posse just happened to be going down the road. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. See, Arthur tried to do the right thing, and he just got himself into more trouble. Yep. Oh, well, what can you do, right? The law cannot see you. If you continue to evade them, they will eventually stop looking for you. Yeah, we'll just stay out of the red area. And we should be fine in a little bit, but we might have a bounty on our heads now. Okay. Well, what can you do, right? What can you do? Let's take a look at the map again for a second. The uh I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out why this has a red area around it. Does it tell us here? Bounty hunting. Okay. 
Should we go over there or not? I have a feeling like as soon as we enter this red area, something's going to happen. We better let's go another time. We got to get our we got to get our legendary hide back, man. Too many things to sidetrack us. Way too many things to sidetrack us. The horse is dirty. Okay, okay. Here, let's do this. How about if we go up into this little yeah. area here? This looks like a pretty good spot to have have a camp, right? So up now. There you go. I hope our horse doesn't kick us. Dang, that was brutal. <laughs> so brutal. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Uh, well, we need to brush the horse. Let's do that first. The question is, how, how many times do we need to brush him until he's done being brushed? I'm not sure what the answer to that is. So let's just keep doing it a few more times. Do you only have to do it let's once? Kind of cool that you can see the horse's breath. Just more little things like that. More immersion things. So it still says we... We need to brush them more. Okay. Well, let's keep brushing them then. I think we're done because I don't see the, the little icon thing popping up again. You're all right, boy. Let's give him something to eat. Okay, he's in good shape. Yeah, I think we're good to go. I was gonna camp here, but I mean it's dawn now, so let's just keep moving. Come on, boy. Um, I'm a little bit tired, but we could probably fix that with some food. Uh, so what do we got here? Uh, moderate restores health corn and slightly restores stamina. Sweet corn. Okay. And we need something to restore our dead eye core and our dead eye meter. Uh, so let's see. This will restore the dead eye meter, but it damages the core. What does this do? Fully restores health, stamina, and dead eye, and fortifies moderately. Potent miracle tonic. Snake oil fully restores dead eye and fortifies slightly. Yeah, let's have some snake oil. Now, I thought we had, I thought we had an herb. How do we get to our herbs? We probably have to go into our actual backpack, I think, because it doesn't show up here. That would restore um, Dead Eye Core too. So let's take a look here. Okay, so we have Creeping Time, Slightly Restores Dead Eye Core. Okay. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Properties of the herb are not yet known. Is it? Oh, you know why? Because we didn't read them in the compendium. Oh, interesting. Okay. Big game meat. We, we got to get that back to the camp before it goes bad. Properties, Indian Tobacco... Slightly restores stamina core or horse something something. See, the thing is, is I actually did read these, but when I reloaded before we started the stream today, it I lost some progress. So I think I think that's why it's telling us that. So let's do this. Let's go into here. And we want to go to story. No, not story. 
we want to go to progress compendium uh, fish gangs plants okay so this is Alaskan ginseng we know we've read that this is American ginseng can be crafted into a potent medical tonic that's blackberry can be crafted into predator bait okay we know that special bitters for burdock root uh, okay so now we should in theory know what we what this is used for same thing for the bulrush can be crafted into a horse ointment creeping time um, used in time big game recipe hummingbird sage this refills stamina core right okay so we we found that up on the mountain now let's go to the next page wild carrot can be crafted into a horse meal and can be crafted into potent health cure for yarrow nothing on that page okay now when we look at that stuff in our our wheel thingamadoodle, we should know what they're for. At least that's the theory, right? Uh, so let's go back to here. And then, why does it still say the properties of this herb are not yet known? Uh, that doesn't make sense. Do we have to eat it? Oh, that, I think that did give us dead eye core, didn't it? Yeah, slightly restores dead eye core. Highly poisonous for horses. Ooh, okay. Um, sage, stamina core, and horse stamina core. Yarrow. Um, what if we eat something and it poisons us, though? <laughs> um, let's try yarrow. I'm trying to listen to his song here. That is so cool. Oh. Whoa now, What's going on? Good job. Somebody hunting or somebody shooting people. Um, so what did we do? We just ate yarrow. Slightly restores health core and highly poisonous for horses. Okay. Uh, let's eat some ginseng. I didn't see anything change on my little meters there. Where did it go? Oh, did we? Oh, here it is. Okay, health core and restores all horse cores. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, how do we how do we feed this specifically to the horse though? I don't know how to do that. I'm a little bit concerned about that gunfire. So if we look at the whoops, if we look at the horse. Uh, if I just hit R for feed, he just automatically feeds him oat cakes. So I, it doesn't give me a choice of what to feed the horse. So I'm not sure how that's supposed to work, but I guess we'll figure it out at some point. 
All right, let's get going. We're screwing around too much here. What else is new, right? Um, let's make sure this is ready to go. We'll put it back for now. Okay, hold on a sec. It's the eight key that pulls out my carbine. Okay. And one pulls out the revolver. Eight, eight and one. Those are the two important ones we got to remember. Okay, let's get going here. My goodness, we waste a lot of time, but sure, we're sure having fun doing it, though, aren't we? What's that scary music about? Okay, this is the area that we heard the gunfire in. There's a fella on a horse and cart. Howdy. I'm trying to remember what key Jeez, is wow. like free camera mood. It showed us that in the tutorial, but I can't remember which key it was. Okay, this looks like a new herb here. Well, maybe it's not. It sure looks like it might be. Morning, partner. Morning. How you fellers doing? It's damn fine weather, ain't it? It's damn fine weather. Yes, it is. Oh, I don't think he was talking to me. That really looked like it should have been a something, right? But I guess it isn't. Hmm. Okay. Boy. Yeah, I, I think we can, Vark. Uh, about catching horses and selling them. Sure we can. Yeah. Oh, no no doubt it was. Um well, that I I shot that guy in the head. <laughs> I definitely killed him. But I wouldn't necessarily call that murder per se cuz we were trying to rescue a damsel in distress. So, yeah, I don't know. The game certainly thought so, so it is what it is. Excuse me. Out of partner? Fine morning, partner. It is a fine morning. Yes, it is. Yes, indeed. I think we're getting close to Valentine. Morning. Morning. Good morning. So we got to find the butcher. I think that's who we turned this, uh, the bear pelt into. Hey you. What yeah. are you doing back here? What do you mean? Ain't you caused enough trouble? Huh? Um, not Beating quite. Half the saloon like that? Oh, yeah. Well, we did kind of do that, didn't we? Tommy deserved to be killed out in the street. That guy was a rat bastard. And was giant, too. We could take another bounty, you guys. Last time we did that, we made $50. Morning. Levi's crop short again. Morning. Say this time. Morning. Okay, so the feller we need to talk to is right over here. It is in giving that we receive the true gifts of life that are eternal. <laughs> so give generously, for that is what this 
country needs to help yeah. each other. Before I eat all these chops myself. Welcome back. Something slip your mind. Okay, before. to sell a pelt stored on the back of your horse, take your horse close to the butcher stall and focus on the butcher and hold R. Uh, is he close enough? Yeah, I think we need to get a little closer. Give him one of these ribs, just watch him grow. Oh, hello again. Well, hello. Too soon, huh? Okay, so it said, look at the butcher and R to sell. All right, so how much money can we get for this big game? Only 75 cents? Uh, well, we'd get 375. I, don't, I think we better take that back to our camp. What about these bats? A body of a bat in good condition. Display of items can be sold. Perfect bat carcass. Uh, didn't it say something about we could use these for crafting? Hey, you got any matches? Uh, yeah, I think we better hang on to that because it's a perfect carcass. You know who really runs this town? Who really Ladies runs this town? of the line. Who? They got enough dirt to bury you, man. Oh, okay. Um, let's sell these bats. But we're going to keep the perfect carcass. Uh, we'll sell this, um, uh, what is this? A good rabbit pelt. Seems everyone with 45 a cents for that. Legendary bear pelt can be used in crafting. Shopkeeper does not accept this item. Ooh, man, it's worth $60. So, oh, you know what? I bet you we have to bring this back to um, Pearson at the camp. I'm thinking... Game meat. Okay, yeah, let's take this back to the camp. We'll give this to Pearson, and then we need to wrap up this episode. Good morning, mister. Morning. Thanks, mister. Okay, we need to change our... We, there's supposed to be something we're supposed to be doing there, but I'm, I don't remember what it is. Um. <laughs> excuse me. Goodness gracious. Let's just hightail it back to camp here. And hopefully nothing too bad will happen Hang to us. Second there, friend. I'm trying to get back to camp there, friend. Hello. Oh, wasn't that guy... Yeah, you know what? I think he'll be there the next time we come. Because we, we ran into him when we first started the stream before I started recording. And uh, I didn't do anything with him because I didn't want to do it, do it off camera, you know. Well, off YouTube camera, I should say. Yeah. So we'll just beat feet back on to the camp here. Let the horse have his head. Okay, boys. No oh, that doesn't sound good. Oh, shit. Hey, don't mess with me when I have the bear carcass. You son of us. All right, these guys are pissing me off here. I was just trying to go home, minding my own business. They started. I finished it. That's all there is to it. All right, we got a couple hats. Where did that? Where did that guy's body go? Uh, does it show up with eagle eye? The guy that we shot right here. Did he like? Did he slide down this way? I don't remember. Huh. I 
have no idea where those guys' bodies went. Okay, well, so much for looting them then, I guess. You guys know where it went? Okay, boy. Or where they went, rather. We shot one guy here, and he kind of fell off down that way, but I'm not seeing a body anywhere. I don't think it would have slid all the way down the road. Maybe it does. No, I don't see anything down here. Okay, well, whatever. Horse is dirty. We just cleaned him. Both of them were? Because we killed two guys. Well, anyway, I'm sure they're long gone now. Oh, they both were. Okay, okay. I just, I guess I just didn't notice that. Oh, look at this. We got a guy driving, uh, is it sheep? Yeah, he's driving sheep. A sheep herder. Howdy, partner. How you doing? I wish I could remember the key where I could just randomly talk to people, but I can't remember what it was. I gotta figure that out. Alright. Well, we don't wanna we don't wanna scare that feller. We don't want him to think we're gonna do up to no good because why would anybody think Arthur's up to no good? We're missing our trail here. Who's there? It's me. Is that Bill? Yeah, that's Bill Williamson. Let's go talk to Bill for a second here. You keep your eyes open, Bill. Good morning, Arthur. Hmm, look at what is up there. Oh, Arthur's getting stung. We probably better not stand there. We... <laughs> you know what we could have done? We could have shot that thing and it would have landed right on Bill's head. Oh, man, that would have been hilarious. And, you know, not to give anything away or anything, but I know what happens in Red Dead 1, so I wouldn't feel too bad about it. And we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> I should have done that. It just didn't quite occur to me. All right. Yeah, our camp needs some stuff, man. I think it's I think it's actually the right mouse button that I'm supposed to hold down to talk to people. There's John Marston. Act like you ain't a selfish, bloodthirsty moron. You mean lie? Oh, shut up. Let's see if we can talk to John. Morning. Yeah, morning. Miss Tilly. Hey, John. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so it's the right mouse button that I press and hold to talk to people. Okay, it's good to know that. Uh, let's go talk to Pearson. And then we've got to we got to wrap things up. This is running a little bit long here. Morning, Arthur. Okay, let's look at crafting upgrades. I've come up with some ideas for ways we could improve things around here. If you want to take a look. Okay, so John's lodging, Arthur's lodging. Upgrade John's lodging. Camp tables, chuck wagon, main. Da, da, da. Okay, let's look at satchels. Purchase leather working tools, upgrade provision. Oh, no. All right, what do we do with the with the bear hide then? I thought we would give it to Pearson. I reckon I need to get my hands on some material. Really need you boys to get out there and hunt. Okay, so let's let's donate this. Uh yeah, let's donate the Can't have that pot go completely empty. To him. Um, we'll donate the game meat. I want to keep stuff that we need for crafting, though. So, the shopkeeper does not accept this. What do we do with this? Do you guys have any idea in the stream what I'm supposed to do with this bear pelt? Something I was supposed to do? Oh, oh, with Bill? Yeah, maybe, maybe we'll have, <laughs> maybe we'll have the opportunity later. That would be so damn funny. Um... 
So, uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with the bear pelt. I think it, it told us at the time that we killed it, but I, I don't remember what it said to do with it. I thought it told us to take it back to town, you know, to the butcher guy. What are you talking about? Oh, we can play poker. Nice. Okay. Guys, we're going we're going to have to end the episode with a hand of poker. Why not? I just can't cope. Really. I can't. Probably shouldn't leave my stall unattended like that. It's just going to be me and him. Is the Reverend coming over to play a hand? Looks like he might be. Ah, yeah. Uh, okay, let's just... What do we got again? Not much of anything at the moment. Okay, we got a pair of sevens. Um, let's go ahead and... Uh, how about if we bet 25 cents? Let's make it interesting. <laughs> huh. <laughs> yep, there. Ah, we bluffed him. I wasn't trying to bluff him because we had a pair of sevens. <laughs> One of five poker hands won. By Gambler way, won. Has anybody seen my compass? How do we get more guys to play with us here? Yeah, yeah, I had it since my first day in the Navy. Can't believe I'd gone and lost it. Mm. Well, keep my eye out for another one. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. You know, the amount we move around, it's a useful thing to have. Autumn request log updated. Hold F1 for details. He, what did he ask us for? Pearson has asked for a naval compass. Okay. All right, if we come across a naval compass, we'll get it for him. Okay, let's take a look at our carts. Jack and an ace. Are you still playing? Um, how about if we just call him? Mm, check. Okay, we got a pair of aces. At least it's something. Um. Pair of aces is not too bad. How about if we there. raise him? Not much of a risk taker, are you? Are we playing or what? <laughs> okay, I'm in for 21 cents. Let's take a look at our cards again. So we got, we still only have a pair of aces. We do, however, have a possible flush in diamonds. All right, let's just let's just call him. Okay, we got two pair. You're full of joys today, huh? Well, what do we have? Have a look at these. Oh, Two pair aces and yeah. fours. Right on. That's what I like to see. Okay. Time to wrap it up. Yeah, let's keep this going. Damn you. Thank you. That was fun. Yeah, it was. That was fun. All right, guys. It is time to wrap up this episode. Um, I'm glad that I finally figured out even though i sort of kind of knew this all along but it just hadn't occurred to me that all we have to do is right click to talk to somebody um and so you know we'll start talking to more people as time goes on and the other if you guys know how to do like for example i was trying to figure out how to feed the horse the whatever that herb was how do you feed something specific to the horse instead of just giving him oat cakes Hello, so let me know that in the comments if you guys know and um, I think that's it for this episode. So in the next episode, uh, oh, the other thing is, what do I do with this bear hide? 
I need to know what to do with the bear hide. I'm not really sure. I mean, I'll probably just end up looking it up. But let me know in the comments if you guys know what I'm supposed to do with it. I thought I was supposed to take it into Valentine, you know, to the butcher. May oh, Is there like a leather tanner in here? Maybe I'm supposed to take it to him instead. I don't know. That's the saloon. That's the store. Uh, we, we've got a bounty, so we'll probably, in the next episode, we'll probably go hit that bounty. We can get Tennessee back from the stable, so we're going to do that, or at least we're going to compare Tennessee to uh, to Freckles and see which of, of the horses. I, I, I like the way Tennessee looks better than Freckles, but Freckles actually didn't do too bad, all things considered. Um, so we got that going on. And then, of course, we have more quests to do. So we're just going to keep having fun. We're going to keep taking our time, enjoying this awesome game, getting ourselves into all kinds of trouble and squirreling and enjoying every minute of it. Thanks, guys, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.